Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Now, it's been a little while, uh, and in between, what's been happening is we've had an update in the game. Can you believe it? So we can actually now paint our, paint our walls, and we can redo our floors, and our restockers actually pick things up off the, off the curb. Not that we have one yet, but if they did, we could actually do that. <laughs> And yeah, there's been so many exciting uh, updates to the game. I mean, we've still got things to do in the game. There's still things to be updated. But yeah, these changes have been exciting. So I thought if we've got the money, we've got $577. So maybe we don't. But I thought that maybe uh, I'm going to change, close that checkout and get a couple of boxes of things. But I thought we could do like a little bit of painting and maybe do some flooring today. So I thought that would be... That would be fun. So four of those, and what's the other thing we needed? There's money rice, I think. So let's get that out because it is actually quite expensive to um, decorate the store. <laughs> I was like, oh no, spend a heap of money on it, like thousands and thousands. Uh, our shop is still quite small, obviously, so it might not cost too much to actually get it decorated but it's probably more money than we actually have as well because, you know, we've been... Oh, we need eggs as well. Oops. Um, yeah, we've been spending money on upgrading our store and adding new items into the store. Let's get that out here. And what else we got? Some icing sugar. So, yeah, so we've been upgrading, upgrading things, spending money on that sort of stuff, so... We're not really flush with cash at the moment, which is a shame because I would love to be flush with cash, but it's really, really hard to be flush with cash in this game. But the changes uh, since the update make a huge difference gameplay-wise, particularly with the restockers actually getting out there and putting the stock away on the pay, you know, from the pavement into the stock room. It actually frees you up to do different things in the game, which is really nice. Uh, where's my icing sugar up there? Oh, I actually had some. Now. So let's open the store up and I'll actually quickly order some eggs and salt as well because we need that. Uh, salt and eggs. Make sure that we don't run out of things throughout the day. But I'll leave my little cashier dude doing his cashier things while we see what we can do as far as doing some painting. It's actually pretty straightforward. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, if you've played House Flipper, a little bit of that, like you're similar-ish as far as like the decoration and stuff goes. Mm, could have done with some more eggs, but they should get us through the day anyway. Maybe, I hope so. You never quite know. And I have to keep an eye on the stock because I'm used to having a restockers now. So I kind of get in the vibe of kind of ignoring the customers throughout the day. Because I'm used to my restockers actually, you know, taking care of things throughout the day. And then, yep. <laughs> Whoops. So, and one thing that we can do is actually change the name of the store. And, oops, wrong place. So we can actually name our stores now as well. And we can order paints and flooring. So let's go into management, customization. So it costs 250 to change your store name. And your entrance position you can change. And uh, coming soon is a change to the entrance to the appearance of the entrance, which is cool. So if we wanted to go change the name of our store, and we're going to call it Velvet B Mart. Velvet B Mart. Oh, you can make the lettering bigger and smaller woo, 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 woo. which is fun and you can have like different background colors maybe we want to go violent blue maybe and Ooh, all sorts of things there we go maybe we'll go blue and you can have your text color red green bright pink yeah baby and we approve that. <laughs> Just like that, we have created Velvet Bee Mart. Hooray! Look 
look at that. Hello, Velvet Bee Mart. So that's the little customization, which is quite cute and fun. So let's see if we can order any paint. So it is 200, 150 to 200. No, yeah, basically 200 to order any sort of paint. So it is pricey and it doesn't last very long. You have got a good range of colors. I'm thinking maybe we could go dark blue. So let's go with that paint number. Oh, nine or 10 look exactly the same. Mm, let's go with 10. That's easy to remember because you want to have like the same color, obviously. Well, you might not. You want to have all sorts of colors, maybe. So all you need to do is click the box, pick up the box. That'll open your paint can and then you just hold it against the wall. Hold down your mouse button. Oh, this is quite turquoise. And just paint away. Now, your paint can will not last all that long, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I think we're empty, yes. And then you just chuck it in the bin. <laughs> so flooring. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so much better than that yellow. I'm going to open my till because we might need to help out. But flooring wise, you're looking at 200 a box and you get 10 pieces of flooring per box. So yikes, doesn't get you very far. But by the time you look at the flooring and how many pieces of flooring are in the like the shop, <laughs> it's not very many. I mean, it's quite a lot. So you don't get far on the, on the money. Couldn't find oil. Oh no. Uh, let's see, it's oil, this one. Oh, why was I out of that? Oh, I didn't look in the corner over that way. Doll. Alright, be there in a minute, sir. I think we're just about out of coffee as well. Oh no. Oh no. I did not look over that side of the, um, of the shop at all. <laughs> Um, miss sales. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, 50 cents. Okay, so we need more coffee as well. Coffee's are expensive. A couple more oils. Yikes. It's just about all our cash. Come on, we want to afford some flooring. Don't make me spend all the money on the, on the stuff around the place. It's cruels, I tell you. Cruels. Okay, we'll get this stuff out on the shelf. Hopefully we won't get dinged too much in between. What I've actually done in my big store is that I actually got rid of um, all but one cashier, which is a little bit crazy, but I did. And I do kind of do all my stock stuff at night now. Or it's like I do my refill at night and then I do my stock ordering in the morning and I don't actually open my store until I've done my stock ordering for the day. Then my restockers will get the stock all sort of into the store and stuff while I'm serving on the counter. So I have one counter which I serve on and then one one cashier just to, you know, hold up the fort while I'm doing a few bits and pieces first thing in the morning. And yeah, other than that, and then I just like stand there at the counter and just smash through all of the customers. And I'm kind of earning at the moment sort of between ten and a half to twelve thousand dollars per day. So it's quite busy. I think I'm like level ninety-three in the store now. So it's yeah, it's getting up there a bit. And it is busy as like um when you sort of hit seven o'clock, it's just lines and lines and lines of people. It's fine though. I like it. It actually means that I can actually do some serving of customers, which is really nice. Because, yeah, you kind of... Oh, we're out of milk. Um, you kind of get out of the habit of it, or I was out of the habit of it after the way that... Oh, it's after nine. Okay. That the game was set up before. But now, because of the restockers doing their jobs properly... You can actually get back into doing other parts of the game, which is a lot more fun. So I feel like the updates kind of got the fun back into the game, which is great, which is what it should be doing. They should be, 
you know, making the game better, and that's what they've done with this update. So I was honestly so stoked with how this sort of came out. Next step that I would love to see them do in the game is actually get into having a restock system because it is really difficult to keep track of all of the items of stock because oh, how many items would I say there is? I mean, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of items because I've unlocked... Let's have a look. Uh, so I've unlocked up to... Ah, I've just unlocked books. So, um, if we say looking at six items per thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, say 20 times 6. So, 12, yeah, 1200, no, 120 odd items. Yeah, 120 odd items that you need to keep track of. Um, and, you know, I haven't even unlocked them all at this point. So that's really hard to do without a really good stock inventory system, which we just don't have at the moment. Other than me, uh, in the way that I organize my stock room and do it that way. So I have like a particular space in the stock room for each item. So I can work, walk around the stock room and go, right, I'm missing this and this and this and this. Um otherwise I mean you're just kind of waiting or it's either that or you sort of walk around the store and have a look around the store and see what you're short on but then by that point you're going to be running out of stuff because so much sells throughout the day that it's really impossible to keep track of so it's actually easier to stock the store via the stock room than it is um, via the store if that makes sense <laughs> hopefully it does but yeah it's, I do find that that probably the trickiest part is just keeping on top of that, and even then I do run out of the odd, the odd item because um, I miss something or I forget to order something or I think I have enough of something and then I don't, you know, as you do. So being able to actually physically see on the computer what your stock levels are for each item that would make such a huge difference for the game and make it, you know, a lot. A lot use a lot more user friendly i think for managing your managing your store oh my god we've just about gone through all of our stock i'm gonna to have to order so much stock for tomorrow oh, look at this our stock room is practically empty but we've got over a thousand dollars which is amazing so i feel like business is starting to pick up a little bit it does take a while, but you kind of get there. But you know, it all sort of balances out because you ha have to spend so much on. Oh, that's full. On actually purchasing stock and actually making sure that's in stock. What have we got? Orange juice. I need to extend the stock room a little bit. It's a little bit squashy at the moment. I don't have room for everything, but oh, I'm just going to put on shelf what I need. Stuff the system. I'm just going to put on the shelf what I need. Actually, I need to probably restock that as well. I'm going to come up with a system a little bit later for it because there's just not enough room in the stock room for me to be able to do what I want to do. I'm just going to have half of the stock on the floor otherwise. Uh, and then a bit more spaghetti there, but I think that is full. Yeah, it's a hot mess anyway. Stuff everywhere. peanut butter let's see if we've got peanut butter in there oh yeah milk we need to make sure that we order that tomorrow i mean we're going to order most things tomorrow anyway because we are so low on stock so yeah so that's what i'd kind of like to see coming up in the game is uh, a bit of a stock system so that we can keep on top of things a lot easier and i don't know um i like oh and there's heaps of new furniture i need to show you guys that heaps of new furniture which is very cool there's um some really good stuff for like smaller shops which is really nice um i do find like later in the game there's only really one that i find good um when you're gonna have to use like quite a lot of bulk bulk le bulk levels of stock but i think for smaller like displays depending on what you want to do 
you know what another thing that i quite like in this game is being able to just pick and choose which stock you actually stock so rather than like unlocking a stock thing and then having to stock everything in it otherwise they go oh, i can't find something <laughs> as the customers do um i would quite like the the game to actually let you pick and choose which stock you actually want to carry that would be really cool so you could do like specialization of of products did i do the lemonade i feel like i did yes i did um so like you know maybe you want to have just like a specialized cleaning store or something like that i mean that would be great i would love to be able to do like a specialized store so you don't like you can have like all the cool display items and that sort of thing and you can actually make more of a display of it and make it look cool rather than having to cram everything into the like the tiny space which is kind of what I do now. Okay, let's end of the day. That's not too bad. 1,642. So we did all right as far as income goes. Total profit of 1,000. So balance is 1,100. Flour, pasta, and apple juice. Flour. Ooh. Put that up to seven. Flour, pasta. Ooh. That goes up as well and apple juice oh that was already up uh, yeah yeah i'll leave that at that okay so we need to do some stock ordering let's get the lights on and we're just going to spend all of our money on stock so a couple of those a couple of those a couple of those milk oh, yeah. Oil, pasta, blah, blah. Just gonna get two of everything for now and then we'll see where that takes us. It should get us covered, I think. For most things. Wait, how much? Oh shoot, we've only got 234 left. <laughs> yeah. Um Alright, I might just order that i don't think we really need too much else i think we have a little bit of some of that in the stock room okay we've got 80 some 80 80 dollars left let's get us stocked up as much as we can before the customers come in and then i'm going to show you guys the new stands which i'm really excited about there are some really cool like these like little fridges and stuff which is actually quite good for the frozen yogurts and stuff when they um, become available because you don't sell quite as many of those i find and there's quite a lot like there's like 36 on a shelf so you don't quite need as much fridge space for those uh cereal down here oh water oh, under the bridge here we go water there and of course you're going to drink i mean the guy's just standing there doing nothing but you're going to ding me instead at least that was a decent sale if it was a one item sale i would gripe about it <laughs> it's like what are you doing disturbing me for one item how dare you Okay, so we're getting these items onto the shelf. If it gets too busy by the time we've done this, we might have to wait to look at the furniture. It's a little bit later, but that's cool. Yeah, one dollar for you. And zero for you. Ooh, some nice sales. I don't mind all this sweet, sweet cash. That was like 60 odd dollars, wasn't it? And yet he's standing there doing nothing. Thanks, dude. Very helpful. Why is everybody coming to my counter? Normally they go to his counter first. That's so weird. Uh, no, no more milk required. Icing sugar. They sell loads of this icing sugar. They love their sugar. See, all gone. And tea. Tea and coffee. Always a prime seller. 
Oh, well, I'm quite low on tea, actually. Ding! Service, please! Remember the days when, they, you know, a $10 sale was decent? <laughs> Times have change. Oh, eggs are actually selling out quite fast. I have to keep an eye on that. More ice and sugar. When I get more into the vibe of the of the shop, I kind of memorize um, where things are a little bit better, so I can be a little bit quicker with putting things away. But as it is at the moment, I'm still sort of feeling my way with where I've placed things. Because I do jump between this and my own um, personal game as well, so I kind of have that a bit more in my head than, than this one, because I play my personal one a little bit more. It's just kind of one of those games where I can just you know zone out and just kind of run around and do my thing i just find it quite relaxing from that perspective i don't have to think too much about what i'm doing which is nice uh 350. this is a nice sale Ooh, 6850 thank you very much sir better than your for 1450 What's up with that? Milk. Uh, bonus extra. Flour. I really hope I ordered some pasta. Because, yikes, it's getting low. Some other flour. I am excited for when we actually um, can afford a... Or we can get a restocker in this in this uh, shop because I don't think we can do that till level, till level 20 is that right so we're still a little ways off but it won't take too long to get there a little bit of time it'll be fine people would stop interrupting me it would be a lot quicker <laughs> it wouldn't really you get the uh, experience points oh 79 thank you from serving customers anyway Oops. In a butter. Oil. Tea. They buy it as soon as I put it out, which isn't a bad thing. But it does make things hard to keep on top of. Uh, 25. We never did get around to flooring either. Maybe we could have a look at that as well. Fridge. Good old Ron's bread. Thank you, Ron. And green oil. Oh man, we're ripped through, ripping through that milk. Yikes. Oh, did I order pasta? Because hey, <laughs> we're really low on that. Uh, 58.75. There we go. I don't think we've run out of anything today though, which is nice. I do like that. I don't like running out of stuff. I'm losing money. It's money out of Velvet's little Ma Velvet Mark's pocket. Ah, uh, yay, we do have pasta. It's getting worried there for a second. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Uh, One dollar for you. What do we got here? Ooh, this is a nice sale. Can't wait till we get cleaning products. You can make some um, good margin on cleaning products. You can charge a bit more for that because they seem a little bit more willing to pay more for cleaning products. And I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. In demand. Ooh, $113.50. <gasps> You're my favorite customer ever. I think he's up being our biggest spender, right? That was great. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you very kindly. And we're getting to the end of the day. <laughs> I've just finished putting all the stock out. <laughs> Which is about right. Sting. Seventy-two. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we've got one seven three zero. We are light on some of the stock, but that's okay. So as far as like the furnitures and stuff that are new, so we've got the half shell. Like some of these, yeah, I think in the specialist store I'd be more inclined to use like a lot of these, but like as the store as it is, I I like I prefer the bigger shelves. I do like these inner corner shelves, um, but they don't have like a shelf space in this corner part. So it's only like a shelf here, a shelf here, but there's not like shelf space here, which I think is a shame. I would like to sort of have that corner or middle part actually as a shelf as well. So you've got like a three area shelf. And what else do we get? So you've got your shelf outer corners, so you can sort of decorate around things as well. And then this is the one that I am using. So this is a shelf quad, so you have like four four shelves around it's actually still a smaller amount of space to just to use these shelves but this looks quite cool and then you like have the half quad shelf so if you want to have shorter shelves that don't block the the store off then these are quite good uh and then there's a little mini fridge and a display fridge and display fridge double um and then you have like your single freezer unit and your triple freezer unit this is the other one that i use so this is, um, you've got like three three spaces there, which is great. And actually, we should replace out these in the in the stock room. But you have taller racks in the stock room. So rather than having four shelf spaces, you actually have an extra, sh extra shelf space. So you have five shelf spaces, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, we will do a little bit more painting and a little bit more of the floor, I think, in the next episode. And yeah, hopefully we can maybe do a little bit of an expansion in the shop too, which would be quite good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had fun and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.